Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy, and I'm back with more cool and unique camp locations. Locations that have structures, all that sort of good stuff. However, this week, none of these locations will have workbenches. That's a downside. But either way, there is some cool stuff for you. Now, this golf cart right here, I'm pretty sure if you place your camp down correctly, you might be able to get this golf cart plus the building that I'm going to show. I think you might be able to squeeze both of them into your camp. It'll be close, but I, I think it, it may be doable. So right here, heading up towards the house, you do have a trash can that for some reason the inventory didn't want to load for me. Head on in. Yeah, in the little storage room, utility room, you got some rat poison, some other random stuff. Nothing spectacular. You head into the next room. A lot more going on here. There's plenty of junk that you can scrap inside this place. A decent amount of this workable space where you may be able to place some stuff decoration-wise. There's a radio there, but I don't think that radio actually worked. And then behind the desk back here, you do have a safe. And who knows what you'll get out of that. And a little bit more stuff. This building also has a restroom. Let me get it. Move over towards the restroom and I'll show that off. Because look at that. You get a nice, nice clean toilet. You get stem packs. A little locker in here. Overall, nothing too spectacular. It doesn't have the glass mirror that you can loot, sadly. But, I mean, you do get the, the stem packs spawning in there, which is awesome. Then, you have a locked case with some 308 rounds. But really, let's wrap back around, head outside, because you can go up on the roof of this place. And that's going to give you a lot more flat space for you to play stuff. Overall, it's not a horrible location if you're wanting to live at White Spring. It's a fairly nice little spot. Not only that, right beside here is one of the security gates. So, I, I can't guarantee it, but maybe if something is attacking your camp, they might aggro and help defend your camp. I make no promises, but it'd be pretty cool. So, if you don't know where this is, and you want to live here, you'll find it right up here. Effectively, it looks like it's way above White Spring, but it's still barely inside it. It should also keep you outside the realm of a nuke. Hopefully, depending on where it drops. Now, let's head up to Toxic Valley, where I've got this. I know it looks it looks so horrible, but it, it's it's a cool spot. Just give it a chance. Some of you may already know about this spot. Oh, there's a cooking station. Can we count that as a crafting bench? I forgot that was here. You do get a couple uh, damaged hazmat suits. I know they're not the high end fancy one that you want, but they're there just so you can sell them or you have some to give to a new player. But the real thing about this location is what's out there in the safe. For those of you that don't know, this is where you can get an alien blaster. Now, it seems like it's always level 20. Because I've came here a couple different times, both times, level 20. I'm sitting there going, well, what am I going to do with this? But if you don't care about that spot, there is a junk location right here as well. So depending on how you set your camp up, I don't think you'll be able to get the junk and the water all in one. But you can pick and choose whether you want the unique location or you just want some junk. So you'll find that right up here, kind of between the farm and the butterfly. Alright, let's keep on going. Now we're going to head over to the Savage Divide, where I've got something... Pretty special for you. Now, I came across this spot a few times in the past, and I didn't think nothing of it. 
But this spot has a water purifier. A free one just sitting there. Not eating up your camp budget. The catch is you will have to power it. But that shouldn't be that big of a deal. And if you're a character that builds like a water farm, that's just one more water purifier getting you some water that you can turn around and sell, give to other players, whatever you may want to do. In fact, over the weekend when I was playing with some subs, one of the guys had built a water farm at his camp. And it was a bit excessive. It was a lot of water. But he asked me, he's like, so do you, do you need any water? I was like, nah, I think I got like about 20 on me right now. And he goes, well, here, take this and drop like 60 purified water. I was like, well, I don't really need it, but eventually I will. But you do get this nice view right here. Overall, though, it seems pretty cool. There's not that many locations where you can get something like that for free. So if you want this location, you'll find it right up here. It's kind of near the where you do the Civil War fighting. Also up near the shrine, as I call it. You're also within arm's reach of the most sought-after uh, workshop in the game. Let's keep on going. Now we're going to head down to Toxic... Oh my gosh, I almost said Toxic Valley. We're going to head down to the Ash Heap. That's where we're going. My gosh, I'm going insane. So, at this location, you get this massive crane. And I was quite surprised when I came here and realized I could put my camp down. And I figured this out way back when I built Camp Town. And it's just been kind of sitting on the back burner. I've been waiting to use it. Now, I, I was looking at it, trying to figure out what you could do with this place. Now, you do get a couple dead people up here who uh, really did not get to enjoy their lunch. A duffel bag. Decent amount of space up here to work with. Now, what's cool is you can climb all the way to the top of the crane. I mean, if you really want to be adventurous, you can try uh, walking the wire all the way to the top. I've done that. I also fell off and killed myself. It was hilarious. Except when it wasn't. But there is also a stairway going all the way up. And you do need to be careful going up this. Because one of the times I was running up the stairs, it threw me off the side. And yeah, it's kind of a horrible way to go. Now if you wrap around here, there is an ammo box up here. Which is pretty neat. Overall though, I just thought... For a unique camp location, yeah, it's kind of hard to top having a massive crane at your camp. Now, given you're not going to be able to use the entire crane structure within your camp due to how massive it is, there's definitely got to be something cool you can do with this place. You'll find it right down here. It's also near the train station down there, which... Always a plus in my book. I love being near train stations. Hopefully you can make use of that. Now let's head over to the mire. For a really simplistic spot. But I love this. It's just too good to not share it. Because it falls in to both being cool and unique. So outside here, I did have several dead cultists... So that's just some free loot. I'm not 100% certain if they're always spawning here or not. So that's some warning for you. Now, you do have one lootable container right there. But it's what's inside the outhouse that really matters. I mean, look at that. That's just too freaking cool. Not only that, he's got a tinfoil hat on. And you can take that and you can just run around the wasteland with your tinfoil hat. Screaming the mannequins are alive. Because they are. I'm telling you, they are. You're going to need that tinfoil hat. Overall, I just... I got such a kick out of that that I, I just had to share it with the rest of the class. Other people might be entertained by that. They may also want a tinfoil hat. So you'll find this right up here. 
and if you want, you can actually build your camp there and have the tinfoil skeleton chilling at your camp. Now let's head down to the Cranberry Bog, where we're going to wrap it up with something kind of cool. And I know you can't see it because i got to move around a little, but there is a tiny little cave right here. And as I've said in a previous unique uh, camp location video, caves are fairly rare. So to have one down in Cranberry Bog... It's pretty cool. Even though, yes, I know Cranberry Bog has a bunch of tunnels going around. This one you can turn into your camp. Now this ledge up here you can build up here as well, which is pretty nifty. But you do have this little hole in the roof. I don't know if that would bug you or not. But you may be able to build a camp on top and then use that kind of like a, a unique hidden basement depending on how you go about building. Thought it was pretty cool. So I'll show you the location of this spot here in a second. But I really want to touch on... I hit 2,000 subs over the weekend. And believe me, I didn't miss it. So next week, I will be doing my 2,000 subs video, where I do a little celebration for hitting an awesome milestone for me. So thank you to all of you that have subscribed. You're all freaking awesome. Also, next week, I will be returning with even more cool and unique camp locations. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please remember to like, sub, and share. Later!